Our coverage continues from ACC kickoff in downtown Charlotte, North Carolina, where the big news of the week just announced by ACC Commissioner John Swafford as he unveils a partnership with industry leader ESPN that will lead to the ACC ESPN network. Swafford in a jovial mood at the opening of his remarks as he talked about not having to do his annual tap dance regarding this subject. Some of you may be disappointed that I'm not going to be able to do the dance that I've done the last couple of years, dancing around some questions about television. Yes, after years of discussions and rumors, I'm pleased in the company of our presidents, athletic directors, and a cross-section of the finest coaches in the country to announce a new media agreement with ESPN that extends through 2035-36. Also, I could not be more pleased to stand before you today and say that this new agreement will include the launch of the ACC Network and the ACC Network Extra. The ACC Network, our linear channel, will join the ESPN family of networks and will annually feature 450 live events, including 40 football games, more than 150 men's and women's basketball games, and more than 250 other events. The remarks from Commissioner John Swafford, it was a room full of luminaries, including president of ESPN, John Skipper, widely regarded as the best in the business. We at ESPN are proud to be the ACC's partner. We commit to creating and producing content of the highest order for your millions of fans to entertain and entrance them. We will create value for our distributors an effective platform for our advertisers, financial benefit for ESPN and the ACC. The network will shine a spotlight on all of your 27 sports and your thousands of student athletes. We now bring Athletic Director Whit Babcock into the conversation. And Whit, big news, of course, here in Charlotte. You can see that in the reaction. You are actually yeah. part of the process. Boil it down for Hokie fans. What does it mean for the ACC, and what does it mean for Virginia Tech more specifically? Yeah, it's a, it's a great day for the league and for the Hokies. Um, we're in a great, stable league with upward trajectory. Um, the channel will be a difference maker in a lot of respects, uh, certainly financially. Um, but visibility-wise, recruiting-wise, we just feel like it's a point of differentiation for us in a good way. And um, to be here today and be undefeated in football and announce <laughs> a, uh, a television channel, uh, I think we should celebrate that. It's, it, we can have fun with it. And something to celebrate as well. You were a member of the television committee that was part of this process. What was that process like? Hey, it, was, uh, it was wonderful. I learned a lot. I was proud to be a part of it. I was a relatively late addition to the committee. It's existed for, as you heard, up to five years. Um, and Kevin White's leadership and John Swafford. But to be on the inside and watch how that worked, hopefully I contributed, but I probably learned a lot more than I contributed. John Swafford said very emphatically during his remarks, not just about football and basketball, it's about all 29 sports throughout the ACC. You mentioned Justin Fuente. He was prominently seated right behind Commissioner Swafford and also wrestling coach Kevin right. Dresser. Yeah. It's important for Virginia Tech wrestling as well. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. It's important for all of our sports. And um, from a recruiting standpoint, from a visibility standpoint, and when you can recruit young people or their parents or, or you're selling people on Virginia Tech to be able to say that every game that we'll play will be on an ESPN platform. And it's one-stop shopping. It's right there. And to be co-branded with the worldwide leader uh, is a big deal. But it will benefit all 22 of our sports and, and Kevin's matches and all that. So I really appreciate him being here today, too. Whit, thank you for your time and your hand in the process. Thanks a lot. Go Hokies. Director of Athletics Whit Babcock joining us from the Weston in downtown Charlotte. Big news just dropped by Commissioner John Swafford and a cast of luminaries. Our coverage for the weekend continues on Hokiesports.com.